Hello, I am here for a sort of long tutorial about creating a CMS. A CMS is a content management system much like the one that cPanel has, File Manager. A content management system allows you to edit, delete, view, uh, create, upload files to a directory. Okay, so let's get started. We need an index file. Let's open this up. And let's open up our tab. tags. Okay, so our index file will handle our warnings, such as like you cannot delete that file or error or stuff like that. It will also print our uh, contents in a directory and display links to edit them and delete them and such like that. Okay, so let's get started make something called dir, which is our directory that we're going to open. In this case, it's going to be data. Actually, open dir. And then let's create a while loop to get the entry names of everything from that directory. Now basically what this does is it will add entry name to our directory for every entry name. And now since we do not need the directory or the open dir anymore, we can close it. It is important that you close everything that you open. Now let's count everything in our array. This can be used so that we know how many files we have, or we could display like you have 18 files. Okay, we could do this by. And we'll print at our top. Display our index count files in our directory. I'll just do that. Okay, now let's sort our array. And let's print it off. And then, okay, now we opened up our table because we're going to display everything in a table. Uh, we do this just for the sake of uh, visibility and neatness. Now we're going to loop through our array and print one or row for each array or each value we have in our array.
And we are not going to list hidden files using this. Go, and now we could uh, finally print our stuff. And this might take a while, so I'll pause it and resume once I'm done. Okay, so now that we're done, we can test it out. I'll wait first. I need to create the directory of data. Then we also need to create some files. Oops. And let's also put some stuff in it. Now we can go to our directory, enter. Oops, it seems that we have a problem already. Uh, I don't care about you. Unexpected curly bracket on line 19. 19. I forgot to close one of these things. Sorry about that. seem to have a problem with file size. I remember having this problem before. It's probably just uh, my computer, or not my computer, my server, or PHP and I, and I never really looked into it, but uh, do not care to look into it. So I'll just take that part out. You can leave it in if you want. And file types seems to not work either. Crap. Oh well, we do not need that either. Okay, so now we have our files, and the links go to the files. Actually, no they do not so far. We need to add data slash. Save that. Perfect. Now let's add some extra links. We need one for edit file, one for view file, and one for delete file. Edit. And actually, they could just click it to view it. Edit. Delete. And uh, the way our deletion process is going to work is we're going to use git to retrieve the file that we want to delete and then it will delete that file for us.
just like that. Crap, I accidentally put it on the wrong table. go. Uh, yeah, okay. And we also will do the same uh, method for edit, where it just goes to the edit file place and it will get the file that's supposed to edit from the URL. Or from get edit.php file and right perfect there we go and of course we don't have our deletion set up but uh, we'll do that right now Now uh, the method in this is very unsecure, so uh, basically if anyone has access to this file other than you or know about it and they understand basic git and they could edit the URL, then uh, you're probably going to be screwed because then they could delete any file on your server. So I recommend if you have maybe a user uh, login system that you make sure that the files are in that user's directory and that they could only delete it from there. Uh, it's just a little warning because uh, what we're going to be doing basically just deletes the file. You know, you can totally screw up your whole server doing this. Okay, so we're going to get our file. F equals underscore git file. And if file underscore exist, F. And remember how I said the index will be uh, displaying our warnings, or at least I said that. Uh, if I didn't, then index will display our warnings. Then we're going to uh, redirect to our index file and give it a git value so that it will display our warning. We redirect using the header function, and we do location equals index.php slash error equals file does not exist. There we go. And if our file does exist, then we can continue to delete it. Now first we should chmod it. F2 0 7 7 7 uh, this makes it so that we'll be able to delete it. And actually, on some servers, uh, 0777 is disabled. So if it is, then do 555, or at the 55 at the end, 0755. And then unlink will be deleting our file. And we'll also make a variable called results equals unlink. If results equals true, then that means the unlink was successful, else, and if the unlink was unsuccessful, then we will say, we will say that the deletion did not work. else we can go back to our index and say that the file was deleted. There we 
go. We can save this. Now let's try to delete a file. First, let's make sure that our file is going to the right place, and we can already see that it is not. It is going to file equals foobar.txt when it's supposed to be going to data slash foobar.txt. All we need to do is edit our file for that. Actually, this is not the right file. Where's that? Is this it? Yes, it is. Data slash. Um, close that. F5. And click. Not found. Data slash. Oops. Looks like I made another problem. Edited the wrong thing. Save changes. Without five. Oops. There we go. And it looks like our file has been deleted, and we can also see that our error says uh, it has been deleted. Of course, we have not set anything up to tell us what happens when there's an error. But, uh, as you can see uh, already that our file has been deleted through our uh, display. And if we go into our folder, we can see that it is now gone. Oops. Okay, that is it for part one, view part two next, and that is in part two we are going to learn about editing the file, setting up our errors, and uploading, and stuff like that.